Okay, chapter 10 review. We're going to try to go over everything we may need for the test. So, we had parabolas. Let's talk about parabolas. Parabolas are going to have an orientation of going up or down or left, that's right, but right and left. If it's going up and down, its standard equation is going to be y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Okay, a would be positive going up, b will be negative going down. Okay, the standard equation going left and right would be x equals a y minus k squared plus h. The vertex for both is h comma k. To find the foci's distance, c is going to equal 1 over 4a for both. That's going to be the distance. Okay, if, if a is positive, if it's going up, the focus is going to be h comma k plus c. If the focus, if it's going down, the focus is going to be h comma k minus c. All right, the directrix, if it's going up, would be y equals k minus c. And if it's going down, the directrix would be y equals k plus c. If it's going on the x-axis, the vertex is the same. To find the C value is the same. The foci, if it's going up, is going to be H plus C comma K. If it's going down, it's going to be H minus C comma K. The directrix, I shouldn't say up and down here, sorry, I should say right and left. The directrix, if it's going right, is going to be x equals h minus c. If it's going to the left, the directrix is going to be x equals h plus c. It's everything we need to know about a parabola. Okay? Next one we have circles. Circles are fairly easy. Circles. Standard equation for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where the center is h comma k, and the radius is the r value. So it's just a translation with your H and K values. That is everything you need to know about a circle. Okay? Let's move on to ellipses. Standard equation for an ellipse is X minus H squared over going to be over basically whatever the distance from the vertex to the x-intercept would be. All right. So in the first case, let's just look at an ellipse that's long this way. So that would be our a squared value plus y minus k squared over b squared. That would be our minor value. So our a, so we're getting on the same page is in this case it's on the x-axis it's from the center to the major axis 
our B value is from the center to the covertex, and we're going to set it equal to 1. Okay. If, if it was the other way, if it was the other orientation, it would be x minus 8 squared again, that does not change, plus y minus k squared, that does not change. But now if the ellipse is going this way, the a value now is going up and down, so that travels with the y and the horizontal distance goes with our b. But again, x is always over the translation left and right from the center to the vertex on that, on that axis. Same with the y. It's always the one going up and down. Okay, so how do I find my foci? Well, my foci is a distance c from the center on the major axis. So in this ellipse, it's on the, it's on the x-axis. So in this case, c squared always equals a squared minus b squared. So our c value is the square root of a squared minus b squared. So the center of this thing is h comma k. That never changes. All right, the foci of this thing, in this case, will fall on the x-axis. So it would be h plus or minus c comma k. On this example, you find c the exact same way. So the center is h comma k. The foci are going to lie on h comma k plus or minus c. There you go. That's everything you need to know about ellipses. All right, last one, hyperbolas. Standard equation for hyperbolas. Look like this. Okay. If it's going left and right, it's going to be x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. Our a value is going to be from the center to the vertex. Our b value is going to be from the vertex up to the central rectangle. And our c value is going to be from the center to the foci. Okay? It's going to be c squared equals a squared plus b squared. All right. So let's fix this equation real quick because it's going to be x minus h squared y minus k squared. So the center is h comma k. The foci in this case would be h plus or minus c comma k. And that's all you really need to know. If it's going the other direction, it's going to be y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. The center is still h comma k. Now the foci is going to be h comma k plus and minus c. And you find c the same way. All right. So that, in a nutshell, is what you need to know, plus being able to complete the square uh, in group-like terms and be able to solve for any of these conic sections.